Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm back. And today we're going to talk about something I'm super excited to play around with, and this is ChatGPT Search. And this has been something that I have been waiting for a long time to play around with, because I think this could be really, really interesting. So, um, welcome back to Stack Stacks, where we try to make AI accessible and exciting for everybody. And we're excited to kind of get into this uh, ChatGPT Search here. So, I believe it's only the on the plus uh, on the plus accounts for now. So this is my new prompt. I'm up in uh, in a four O. I'm a, I'm pick my four O model here, and then now we get this little search icon here or globe icon rather, so we can search the web. And I guess we get a little couple of little trending topics over here. So why don't we just click on one of these and see what happens? All right, so Alabama football. And then I'm kind of getting, you know, kind of a summary. Hey, next, when's the next game? Key players, historical context. We get a little sources panel over here, which we could take a look at. And it, I mean, I went through a lot of, wow. <laughs> I went through a lot of, uh, a lot of citations here. Um, and... Stuff from last uh, 2021, some stuff for a couple weeks ago, um, from August. So, kind of interesting. So let's try. Um, uh, let's do a local search. Pizza. Okay, wait. Vegan pizza in uh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia, PA. So, oh, because I already had the citations open. It's kind of just leaving that open here on the side. All right, looks like we got a map situation here. You can kind of see some local stuff here. Google directions. Straight to a website, straight to a phone number. You know, kind of typically like you'd see in a Google search map pack situation um hip city veg and um i'm trying to think of something uh some, some, some sort of real time let's think of sports what was the score of the tottenham tottenham i spelled that wrong match from last night All right, so let's see if they can find a soccer match from last night. Hey, that is accurate. And Reuters source. So, oh, that's the, oh, interesting. The citations is from Reuters than the search results are. I wonder if the citations are part of the partnerships that they did. That could be something like that. Um, all right, so we did a local search. We got some real time. And maybe we can do something like um, maybe like a shopping thing. So best podcast microphone. Yeah, best podcast microphone. How about that? Okay, so we're getting Wikipedia results. Specifying some of these things. Looks like we got... You know some of the some of your classic articles, right? Nine best podcasting microphones. All right, some the normal stuff. Hey, let's try. All right, let's try something a little bit more. Where this, the results could be a little bit. I mean, this is pretty. I guess I guess you can't really link to like. They're probably not going to link to Amazon or something, or something like that. But not bad, not bad. Let's do. Uh, Best baby food for a two-year-old. Something that could be slightly up for debate. Okay, so it's going right into kind of a meal plan. Kind of like a rich, based on all these things. Kind of a rich answer, so that's kind of cool. Um, I mean, it's interesting, right? Like...
you know, definitely like a more robust answer here. So let's do, let's do Google stock price. I mean, it's quick. I'll give it that. Okay, so we got some interactivity here, which is nice. You know, I think, um, right, it's hard, it's hard to showcase, but like, um, let's say we do weather, Philadelphia, PA, before we get into some final thoughts, just another, see if we can get kind of an interact, yeah, a nice little interactive, interact, <laughs> kind of a graphical, um, search result. So, you know, I mean, I think the interesting thing I think is going to be the i think it's going to be good enough right i think the kind of these rich kind of answers where it's like kind of doing some of the work for you and sourcing you're right some real results is interesting these things too especially like you know taking a stock price for example sometimes this is all you want you don't really want the you know let's see what other kind of sources we can get here yeah like i mean you just kind of want to know what's going on, maybe a trend line. Um, you know, I think um, the fascinating thing is going to be, do people start using it because they're already in here anyway? And you can kind of swap back and forth between your chats. And does it become, you know, just kind of, hey, I'm, I'm in ChatGPT anyway. It's kind of my new, you know, my new front door, my new, you know, my new window into the internet. Or is the switching cost going to be too, um, like too, too, just too foreign to people, right? Um, you know, I think on a desktop, it's a little bit of a smoother transition because, like I said, you probably, you know, if you're doing work, you probably have a tab open. I found I didn't use it really on mobile. Um, I think the friction of opening up ChatGPT and then doing a search rather than you know, having like some sort of widget or something on your phone. Um, so I think the mobile experience could could use an enhancement. Um, you know, I think it was fast, fairly reliable, and like the real the real time. You know, we just did a quick little thing, but I'm sure um, fairly reliable for something that happened maybe 24 hours ago. Um, and you know, like charts and the weather stuff's cool. Um, you know, I like it. It feels like it's missing something. I think the speed isn't the problem. It just feels, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's gonna be. It has to be more graphical, and more partnerships need to come. It just feels like it's still missing something. Um, but I found, like I said, on desktop, I found myself using it, um, and enjoying it. So, you know, I hope they. I hope they. Keep, I hope they keep working on it. I hope they kind of keep. Working on these partnerships, working on these more like kind of interactive results. Um, I find, like I said, that that use case of switching over to a new chat and kind of having that be kind of like your search ish kind of chat, and then your other works in another chat. Sometimes so I, that was nice for me. Um, so I'm curious if anybody's used it. Um, you know, what are people thinking? Um, you know, I think. Uh, with this still out, I've still been using Perplexity in Google, but maybe that's just because of the nature of what I do. But, um, you know, I still hope that, like I said, I think they, I think it's a really great first start, and I hope they kind of keep iterating on it because, uh, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a space that's ripe for change. So let us know what you think. Let us know if you've been using it. And, uh, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, everybody. See you next time.